two boats are moving in mutually perpendicular straight lines and we need to and they go and come back on the path we need to find the ratio of their time of motions so this boat goes along with the flow of water and travels a distance l and comes back this boat travels perpendicular to it and comes back again so we need to find the ratio of the time taken by each of the boat for the round trips so let's say this blue arrow represents the velocity of river and the velocity of man with respect to river is given as eta v not man actually it's boat so yeah so when it's flowing along the river then its velocity with respect to ground becomes vector sum of these two and when it's coming back then its velocity of man minus velocity of river so while returning obviously its velocity will become very less with respect to ground and when it's flowing along the water along the flow then its velocity becomes quite high and let's say it takes time t1 ta1 and ta2 for the forward and return journey in this case the you can see from the diagram that the velocity in both the cases with respect to ground is going to be same because these vector triangles are similar so the time taken is also same for both the forward and return journey that is tb so now we can let's find the time for the first part that will be ta1 plus ta2 so ta1 is l upon total velocity which is v plus eta v and while returning it is l upon eta v minus v which gives this for this part the time taken is two times time take time time taken in one half of the journey and that is l upon this velocity which is eta v sin theta so one side journey will take l upon eta v sin theta that much time so for the whole journey two times l upon eta v sin theta and sin theta we can get from the vector triangle so sin theta is 1 minus cos square theta and cos theta is v by eta v which is 1 by eta so sin theta is root of 1 minus 1 by eta square so we put the value of sin theta here and we take the ratio of tau a by tau b most of the terms will get cancel out and we will get our answer